G'day guys, Happy New Year. What a year it's been, my God. Hopefully this year it's gonna be a lot better. This week, I decided to continue perfecting the speedball platform. If you remember a couple of weeks ago in the video, part one, I put it up against the door, plugged this onto a door and it was fairly unstable. All this would, was rattling a lot. So now I created this wall here using a laminated chipwood board and I basically screwed it into the wall. This is a brick wall here. So now that goes on to there and it's rock solid. Now, let me show you a couple of things. <laughs> so first of all, I replaced these brackets with just wood. It's just basically a triangle that I've cut out using a square piece of MDF board cut diagonally and I screwed it into there and that makes for a really nice bracket, nice and sturdy. Now I can take these back to Bunnings and get my money back. Now one of the things that happened while I've been putting it up and testing it out is this thing actually came off, the suction cups came off and the thing fell on me, it fell on my arm here and it sort of Luckily, I didn't break any bones, but this thing is pretty heavy. So if it falls on you, you gotta be really careful. So what I've done is I create a little safety net and a way of hanging it. Now, check this out. I've just undone all the suction caps and check it out. There's a hook at the back. So this hook, it's just a bracket like this goes on the top, a hook like that, and at the back, heavy duty zip tie, you can use, use a rope if you like, a bit of, bit of rope, and just going through there, and basically this allows me to hang it like that, and then engage the suction cups, level it correctly, and then engage the suction cups, and there you go. Now, that also makes it safe because if the suction cups do happen to come off for whatever reason, this thing is not gonna fall. It's just hanging by that hook and that's attached to this board. Now, let me take this off and show you the board. So the board itself is a white laminated board. I made it all the way down to here. Now, just basically a piece of board. I used six screws. This is a solid brick uh, with concrete wall. Um, I wouldn't recommend doing this into a plaster wall. You need a concrete wall like one in your garage or something and use six screws. I had four screws at the start and one started to come out a little bit. So I've decided to really put it in place nice and firmly. Now there is a small gap in there and I've used these rubber Feet. You can buy a whole bunch of them from a warehouse Bunnings. These are just rubber cushioned feet up on the other side, and that just gives it like a rubbery gap between the wall and the board and dampens some of the vibrations so the wall is not absorbing all the vibrations. So, there you go, guys. This wall. Now, this wall is actually superb for many different things. I realize I can use it for many applications. Do you remember this guys, the $20 desktop punching bag? Check this out. Just stick it straight onto there, screw it in, tighten it so the suction cap is nice and tight. So now you can practice hooks, uppercuts. How good is this? Now, you can, you can get a timing right and everything with practice, but it's just another way that you can practice different types of punches. You can come from this side and just do straight punches. You can do hooks, you can do uppercuts, all sorts of combinations, one, two, whatever you like. So just another way for you to practice a wall like this. Now, I'm just wondering what else, that's holding up my whole weight. What else I can do on this wall? Man, I can put some pads here, for punching into the wall. There's all sorts of possibilities because now I can use suction cups. 
Man, here's one example. This is a single suction cap. You can get these as well, they're a lot cheaper. Um, I've attached a section of PVC pipe to it with some zip tights and some tape. Lock it in place. Now watch this. Pull noodle. I love pull noodles. You can do so much with them. And guess what this is? Now there's one other thing that this is really good for and that's doing handstands. Without wrecking the wall. Well there you go guys, a multi-purpose wall. Let me know if you've got any other ideas and I'll see you guys in the next video. I quite like this uh, desktop wall.